Hello friends and family from Gatorland. Today is actually our first time ever at Gatorland. We're gonna explore everything. We also bought tickets. I guess they have a little train ride here as well. We're gonna take advantage of that. Maybe feed some gators. And I heard they have a bird aviary here as well. And I'm just so excited to be here. It's our first time. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click that bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. Of course, the first thing at Gatorland right here is gonna be the gator's mouth. You guys are definitely gonna wanna take advantage of this photo op. Like, look at the teeth on this gator. Isn't that like really incredible? I also really like the uh, murals that they have painted here on the side of the building as well with the different palm trees and then we have some gators. They even have some birds right here like this one. That's really neat. Check this out, first thing I'm noticing here is they have a big tortoise encounter. $5 entry, entry and feeding is uh, $10 cash only. That one's at $12.45. We missed that, but check out the sign right here. This is really neat. Welcome to Gatorland, family owned and operated since 1949. Like that is incredible, guys. Oh, I'm noticing some gators right off the bat here too. Like they are literally everywhere here. We got one here by the dock. This guy here is a big one. He's just floating right in the water and check out the one over here sunbathing the size of him he's incredibly large oh they even have a uh, moldomatic wax mold machine here you can get an albino gator that's really interesting actually i like that a lot they usually have these at like universal studios and whatnot i think luke's taking advantage of the pressed penny over here here's some of the uh, pennies that you can get they have the tortoise the zip line the uh, front here where they have the uh, gator. And look at this one here. You can actually put your chin on the gator's mouth. That's crazy. Thank you, thank you. And over here they just have a bunch of gators just basking in the Florida sun right here. Look at this guy swimming right at us. They also offer a gator fishing experience right here. Again, it's uh, three fish for $5 or just a bunch of fish right here for $20. I think we're gonna do that though because we were recently over out um, Wild Florida. We didn't get to feed the gators. So this is gonna be really interesting. Look at this, teach gators to jump. 10 to two or four to close. You can take the end of your red string, push it through the gills. You can also push it through the fatty part of the tail. Okay. Now once it's through, all you gotta do is click the end, straight in, fish falls to the bottom. Really Hang on tight, these guys are very strong, even though they're small, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Brandy's going ahead and putting the, uh, the line here through the fish gills. <laughs> Look at that. They said to be careful though, because the fish will come down, or the, the fish, the birds will come down and try to take your fish. And here's all of the uh, gators right here. Look at them. They're just all ready to be fed. This is gonna be so much fun, guys. Again, this is three fish for five dollars. Look at them down there, they're just waiting to be fed. Oh my word. You want it to die, they're fine. Okay, the fish is going down. Here we go. Get ready, Luke. Oh boy. <laughs> Get ready, dude. Let's see if anyone's eyeing it up here. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know if it has to go out a little further, maybe? Just hold on tight to that, Luke. There we go, that's the way. <laughs> oh, here we go, Luke, let it there. Hold on tight to that pole, I think he's ready. You got it, Luke? Look at them, honey, look at them. <laughs> That is crazy. It's like staring right at us. Uh-oh, they're all coming oh, now. It's chomping. You see them, dude? Oh my word. Yeah, they're all coming. They are all coming. <laughs> it's like you're dangling a, uh, <laughs> like a carrot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this one, yeah. You got a couple here totally eyeing it up. I want to see if they can get it. Oh, they got it. 
they did it, dude. <laughs> There's the fish. It's in his mouth. This guy right here took it. <laughs> Luke just pointed this out. All the gators in here are three to five years old. You have a bunch just on this landing right here. And just so many in here just waiting to be fed the fish. We're just following Luke here. They actually have a couple spots where you can feed the uh, younger gators. There's even ones over here that are a little bit smaller. I think we might try to feed one of these guys. Feed one of these guys a, a, a fishy. Hello everyone, welcome to <laughs> We'll see if Luke's piquing his interest here. Nope, he seems very disinterested. <laughs> How brave are these birds right here? They're literally just walking by the gators and we just saw one fly in here. I don't know what it flew in there for, but it was like right next to these gators. Like that is something else. And these gators in this section right here are two to four years old. Again, these are significantly smaller than the other ones that we just fed. And of course, after you're done touching the uh, fish for the gators, look at this, rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Wash your hands in the tub. <laughs> look at this, they have a whole tub right here. To wash your hands. I love that. Okay, I would definitely say feeding the gators or gator fishing, they call it here. It's definitely well worth it. Three fish for five dollars. Like, you get some great pictures there with the gators jumping up with their mouths open, and it's just a great time. I love all the birds that they have in here too. Like this one here, look at him. He's literally just eating a leaf right in front of us. That's incredible. And this area here is completely open. Like there's a bunch of the birds like all throughout this entire area. And it looks like they also have a photo op where you can get your picture taken down here as well. Look at him though. It looks like he's literally licking the leaf. We just came up on the next section here, Snakes of Florida exhibit. Right over here they have a pygmy rattlesnake. Let's see where he's at. Oh, I see them. Okay. So we have a pygmy rattlesnake right there. And it looks like there's one right underneath the, uh, the greenery right here. Our next one over here, we have a Florida cottonmouth. He's right over here. I know this is a little bit hazy, but he's right there. You can see the Florida cottonmouth. This section right here, they have a couple albino alligators. These are really neat to see. We've seen these over in uh, wild Florida as well, but the size of these ones might be substantially larger than the ones that we've seen there. They have a really nice exhibit here though with like all of the, uh, the painted colors and palm trees. And they actually have a sunset right over there. But check out these. They are really neat looking. Okay, this might be one of the craziest things I've ever seen. These birds are standing on top on top of the alligators. Look at that. That is craziness. <laughs> They're literally standing right on top of them. I love this whole walkway that they have here. It literally takes you like from different exhibits. We just did the rattlesnakes, the uh, bird aviary right there. They have some Uncle Charlie's bait shack. They have some gator chow. That's really interesting. Look at that, honey. One bag is four dollars, two bag is six dollars, four bag eleven, and ten bag twenty-six dollars if you want to get some gator chow here and feed the gators. Next stop over here at the petting zoo. Come on in and feed our four-legged friends. If you're interested in feeding the animals here at the petting zoo, it's a dollar or it's a one cone for two dollars, three cones for five, or you get a whole bowl of food for ten dollars. Just like over at Wild Florida, they put the uh, food in a ice cream cone, which is really interesting. Oh, look at this. You can also meet a capybara for only $10 cash per person. Look at this little guy down here, though. <laughs> He's all out of food down there. There's a little sign by the register that said the animals are all on a cleaning break. So I'll just show you guys a little overview really quick of some of the different animals they have here. And this is really neat. They have two slides for the animals. We have some ramps here, I'm assuming for the goats and whatnot. The one is literally just laying right up there. That's really, really funny. Looks like there's a bunch of food. Maybe he's in like a food coma. But look at this. Like they're right here. They also offer the screaming gator zip line here at Gatorland. You actually literally like zip line over the gators. That sounds absolutely incredible to do. Check this sign out right here. We got Joan Von Goodwin. 
1939 to 2015, our Joan was a master gardener, a farmer and grower of all things. She never met a plant she didn't like unless it was pesky invasive. That's too funny right here. Uh, Joan was married to Frank, the youngest uh, child of Gatorland's founder, Owen and Pearl. And they have some like little shacks right here that actually have like their names on it and whatnot. I think that's really, really interesting actually. And they have some gators in here as well, like the size of this one. Looks like he has some battle scars there on the top of his head and maybe a little bit on his uh, torso right here. And the shack across this waterway right here is Owen Jr.'s everything emporium. Computer <laughs> repairs, it says music lessons and radio. Okay, so we made our way here where to they do the uh, zip line here at Gatorland. You can see a bunch of the park guests up there and the zip line comes across this whole area right here over this waterway and you'll land over here, but check this out. Oh yeah, right over there as well. Yep, there's another one up here and another zip line, but literally right over here is just an enormous gator just laying there like watching. Isn't that crazy? So they also offer a bunch of shows here which are completely complimentary with your uh, park ticket here at Gatorland. We just did all a bunch of like stadium seating. I do want to show you guys, we're doing the Alligators Legend of the Swamp show. It starts in just a couple minutes. This is really exciting though. Again, like we've never seen any show like this before. One of the nicest alligators. These are two of the nicest alligators. We could do meet a gator without tape. Uh, but then some lady in Colorado ruined that for y'all when she put her head in the mouth of an alligator, so now we gotta use tape. <laughs> yeah, someone's gotta ruin it for everyone. There you go. Grab him by the tail. Look at that, he's grabbing him by the tail. We'll oh my word. <laughs> he's such a sweet All in the water, we're gonna go ahead and go through a little bit of safety, couple of rules, okay? First of all, do not come in here if you are not coming out here to do exactly what I'm doing. Knees in the sand, holding the alligator's mouth. If you do not want to do that, then do not come out here, okay? That means kids send your parents, parents send your kids. Every single person that comes out here will be doing this. So let me tell you guys how this all got started. You see these alligators, they've been roaming this earth for over 200 million years, not living the dinosaur. Now, the first people to come in contact with these animals were the Seminoles way back in the 1700s. They started wrangling and tangling with alligators on a regular basis. Soon after them came the settlers, with the settlers came the cowboys, with the cowboys came the cattle, and that's where the problem lies. You see, these alligators developed a really big appetite for the cattle, and the cowboys had lots of cattle to move across the state, and they'd use a whip to keep their cattle in line. <laughs> Landing on it! Huh? Out by a stick, or even caught out by an animal that's trying to get away from when they're eating it. And then if you guys Google on your phone, what do you do if a gator's bottom me? Gator, they basically said to just poke it in the eye. You're gonna die, alright guys? I'm gonna show you why right here. Pretend these two sticks, I mean these two fingers, are sticks, right? I want you to watch what happens when danger comes along. The eyes sink into the base of the skull. When danger's gone, they pop right back up. It was a little slow, so I'll see if I can go. Actually, it was a little fast, to be honest, with that pop. So we're going to see if we can go a little slow. But again, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot really do anything that this alligator will not let me do, okay? So if she doesn't want the mouth open or if she wants it closed, she'll shut it at any point in time she wants. All right, not about force. Let the bottom jaw relax. There you go. Take a quick look. Like I said, there's a bunch of teeth. Now alligators go through about two to half on that one. There you go. All right. I give it up for Casey. Keeping that mouth shut with no hands. Nice. There we go. All right, Casey, don't hold that for too long, though. Why? You're gonna get an ugly Nikki doing that. Good job. If it goes horribly wrong today, watch what happens to my bottom jaw. She <laughs> got so quiet all of a sudden. It's like you guys are waiting for something bad to happen. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, Casey, smile. Not all your eyes, I mean, smile. You're gonna be on TikTok, Facebook. There you go, guys. Get those pictures in while you can. Check this out, guys. After the show, you could actually get your picture taken with one of the alligators here. Luke's in line over here. He's gonna meet one of these gators. <laughs> Look at Luke. He's going right in for it right here. He's not even afraid at all. This is incredible. It's okay. Nothing's gonna happen. You're safe. You He's thinking about it. He is thinking about it. Yeah, you <laughs> now you gotta grab all the way up top. Oh boy. You take your hands and go like this. Yeah. <laughs> Can you look that way and smile? What's up, John? Your knees look a little sandy. Definitely check out the Legends of the Swamp show. That was so much fun. Like the guy even put his chin on top of the gator while his mouth was open. And at the end there, you could also get your picture taken with the gator. I believe it was just $10 cash. Luca actually did it and he really enjoyed it. I think we're gonna head on over though and do the train ride. All aboard Owen Godwin's Iron Horse. This is gonna be so much fun guys going through Gatorland here on a train like that just sounds so interesting to me. I love the uh, train station that they have right here This is one lo loco locomotive Gatorland train station home of the Gatorland Express Oh, Here comes the train how adorable seriously guys is this train I Love this. It's like a mini Hogwarts Express. It says on the side there. It's a Mason train. All right, let's pick ourselves a good spot here on the train. Looks like we're gonna go with lucky number 15. Now that's Sheila right there, closest to us and out in the water. That's Morton. Big Daddy Dundee is coming in on. Believe it or not, we got, we've got eight nine crocodiles in that enclosure right there. Yeah, you can get themselves in trouble. We're now entering the Piney Woods, also known as our large mammal enclosure. On the right hand side, that big cow over there, the white and brown one, is Amelia. It's in there and 50 males. It's the largest enclosure we've got here in Gatorland. It's their pet and zoo. We have everything in there from goats to sheep. From eboos to sabus. <laughs> okay, that train is so much fun. It reminds me of the train back home in Pennsylvania at Knobles Amusement Park. Like, is it kind of take you through like a whole wooded area? The same premise of this train right here. And it's a lot of fun to get out of the sun a little bit, nice shaded area, and you get a beautiful breeze. And they also show you and learn you a little bit about the park as well. We just made our way over here to the baby gator marsh. Check this out, it's like a whole enclosure for just the baby gators. They have a little baby albino one over here. There's an actual like tortoise over here and the gator is right there on top of it. Like that's really funny actually. I'm surprised like there's like tortoises and whatnot in here with the, with the gator enclosures. Here we have the Galapagos tortoise. Galapagos tortoises can weigh up to 920 pounds. Look at the size of this guy right here. Like he's going nowhere fast. <laughs> Got his head sticking out there. He's thinking about moving. Yep, he is moving. Okay. <laughs> For any old reason, behind me, I got two of the bravest or dumbest guys I can find, and they're here to compete for a job here at the park. Now, with that being said, are you guys ready to meet them? Yeah. Woo! you guys right but for the rest of you let me let you in on a little secret for the past 70 years these alligators and crocodiles have been conditioned to jump and move with your noise so basically what that means that the louder you are the higher these guys gonna jump one two three jump 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 
Look at the chicken go. <laughs> oh, so close. Oh, yeah. Here comes the big one. Oh, he's going to push away with that little guy. Come on, guys, who want the energy guy to lash into the day right here? No, Trump, yeah, go! Woo! There we go. Oh, almost, almost. The big one almost got it, babe. perception, though. <laughs> Look at the size of that guy. We got one guy on Cooter's side. We got Cooter takes the lead. Bubba Seed, come on, you got the phone behind. Make some noise, you got a big one. Try to shake it, Bubba. Shake it. Bubba, you shake the chicken, not your body. What's wrong with you? All right, all right. Come on, guys. here for a little bit, but Cooter seem to keep the noise going, yo, go! Alright, side, looks like we got another one here, pulling in from under the dark there. You never know, keep it going, guys, yo, jump, yo, go! Oh, <laughs> from their hands. No dropping it or going! Now, oh, my God. Guys, before Whoa. you do that, hook yourselves up to the dock for that safety kit. Oh boy. Oh boy. It wasn't a race. No, it, it's who gets the highest jump. That's what we're going for. The highest jump. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, so close, almost. We had such a great time at Gatorland today. The train ride, feeding the gators the fish is so much fun. If you liked today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.